Hello everybody, Mark's Trenches here. How's everybody doing today? So in today's video, we're going to be rehousing my Formictopus Cochleus Vorax, uh, my slough munching tarantula. Uh, yeah, it's time for us to move into a new enclosure. Still only a small thing, but uh, definitely be something I'm looking forward to when she gets older. She's going to definitely make an awesome feeding video. Um, also, we've got this week's YouTuber of the week to show you, so uh, we'll be looking forward to that. Before we crack on the video though, I just want to say a big thank you to Leah Williams uh, from Unusual Pets for these awesome stickers. Some more stickers there to add to the collection. So yeah, I'm still collecting stickers. If you'd like to send me some to go up on the board, and when the board is filled, we'll be displaying it in the tea room. Alright guys, thank you for watching, now let's crack on with the video. Okay, we're going to start off by rehousing my Formictibus Cochleus Vorax. Molted twice since I've had her. Still only a small sling. This enclosure will be okay for quite some time. She's quite chilled out as far as things go. Uh, she doesn't tend to bolt. As you can see, all she needs is some encouragement. And that's probably one of the simplest rehousings I've done. Not much going on as far as colour goes, but this is what an adult female looks like. As far as information goes, there isn't much on the internet about them. Um, and all the forums are just people asking if there's any info out there. When searching for info, I did come across a video of one in the wild. They come from Cuba and they seem to make their burrows on grassy verges. Temperatures reach heights of 31.6 degrees in August with lows of 25 degrees in January. With rainy season being in May to October and the dry season from November to April. I do know they are great eaters. And as the common name suggests, these specialize on eating snails, which is what attracted me to wanting one. And thankfully to one of my amazing subscribers, I'm now a proud owner of the snail muncher. Obviously they do eat other insects as well, but it will definitely make an interesting feeding video of one of, of these taking a snail down, especially watching how it would get past the shell. Next up is my Terinocolius marinius. This is the dark colour form Kigamar tarantula. Not featured much because every time I feed, she just grabs the prey and straight back into the hide. On this occasion I stopped recording, put the lid back on and I noticed that she was out and I managed to take the lid back off and started recording again and done all that without her bolting back in her hide and managed to get some awesome footage of her. Definitely a shine off to the camera today. She is uh, generally always out, only bolting when I move her to feed. But if you do like your Terinocolia species, then Kigamar is definitely a must. Uh, it would be cool to collect all the colour forms. Beautiful spiders.
Next up, my Carabiner Versicolor. Definitely one of my favorite slings. Colorful, great eaters. They make awesome webs. And this one loves to pose in front of the camera. I love how these spiders are just so colorful throughout the whole life. And I think you all know what an adult female looks like. Yes, I hope you enjoy that guys. A couple of spiders that have not really been shown on my channel that often, so it's nice to get something a little bit different out there. Okay, now it's time for the YouTuber of the week. So who is it this week? Let's find out. YouTuber of the week. Yes, Spider Freaks, today's YouTuber of the week is none other than the Invertiberian. The joys of filming in school. And let me tell you, you are missing out if you are not subscribed to this man. Would you Adam and Eve it? It's been three years since I first subscribed to this lovable Scotsman. And I've had the privilege to see his channel grow. Not only fun to watch, but also packed full of information. What we're going to do is we're going to look at the difference between the male and the female and you can clearly see the sexual dimorphism between the two of them. Sexual dimorphism is when two species of the same sex display different characteristics other than that of the sexual organ. Over the years, Mr. Adam Conley has had some amazing animals from spiders, scorpions, ants, crabs and even velvet worms. It's not just his animals I've grown to love. We all know who the real star of the show is. Watching Wee Man grow has also been a privilege. And who knows, there might even be a future YouTuber in the making. So, if you're looking for fun, informative videos, then go check out Adam Connolly's channel, The Inverted Barian. Thank you for watching. Remember to like, comment and subscribe. And I'll see you again soon. YouTuber of the week.